let's differentiate neutral atoms from ions and isotopes. We have here a model of an atom. The center of the atom is the nucleus and these imaginary paths here are called energy levels. The nucleus contains neutrons and protons. On the other hand, the electrons are found randomly moving at the energy levels. There are more to learn about these energy levels which we will tackle in our future lessons. The number of protons determines the identity of the element. Since we have 5 protons, this atom that we have right now is called boron. Let's talk about neutral atoms. Neutral atoms contain the same number of protons as electrons. Our atom right here and right now is an example of a neutral atom having 5 protons and 5 electrons. Since protons are positively charged particles and electrons are negative, they cancel out each other in terms of charge. Now, what if 3 electrons were removed from the atom? Meaning, we are left with 2 electrons. In that case, this neutral atom becomes an ion. Ions are electrically charged particles produced by either removing electrons from a neutral atom to give a positive ion or adding electrons to neutral atom to give a negative ion. In our example here, the electrons were removed giving our boron here a positive charge since there are more protons than electrons. The charge will be 3 plus and take note that we write the number first before the sign when we indicate charges. I have here another ion we call chloride with a charge of negative meaning one negative if no number is written. In our boron ion, the 3 plus charge indicates that 3 electrons were removed. Therefore, the 1 minus here indicates that 1 electron was added. Specifically, we use the term cation for any positively charged atom and anion for negatively charged atoms. Now, what are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Ignoring the charges for now, our boron right here has an atomic number of 5 which is also the number of protons. It has a mass number of 10. There is another boron that we know with a mass number of 11. Take note it is still boron because it has 5 protons. The mass number by the way is the sum of the protons and the neutrons of an atom. Our model here has 5 protons and 5 neutrons. That is why the mass number is 10. This means that this atom here has 5 protons and 6 neutrons so that the mass number is 11. These two are called isotopes of boron. We call this one boron 10 and this one boron 11. And yes, all elements that we know have isotopes. Carbon 12, Carbon-13 and Carbon-14 are isotopes of carbon for example. Same number of protons but different number of neutrons. You might be wondering when you look at your periodic table of elements because the number written for carbon has decimal places there. That is not the mass number but the atomic mass or the atomic weight. If you want to know the differences between mass number and atomic mass, then check the link below for the video. Do the same thing to learn how to compute for the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Till next time, keep solving!